Ray, correction factors for PID sensors. Welcome to the HGAS YouTube channel. In today's video, we're going to learn about the corrections factors for the Ray PID sensors. We're going to learn what is a correction factor, where you can get it, and a practical example on how to apply it on your unit. The first step is to know what a correction factor is. Put simply, a correction factor is a number you multiply to the reading when detecting a gas which is not the calibration gas. For example, you calibrate your unit with isobutylene and you detect benzene. Where can you get correction factors for Ray PID units? Technical Note TN106 is available to download on our website and the version on the TN106 will depend on the monitor you are using. Please have in mind TN106 is a general guideline and should be used only for the monitor it is designed for. TN106 has been divided in order to provide a better response through the different correction factors. So at this moment, you should be using the specific TN for each unit in order to help and determine a CF. If the CF is not listed under the specific tech note, then the general tech note 106 will be used as a reference guide. TN106A Area Ray Plus Pro, TN106B for Multi-Ray Series, TN106C for 3G PID, TN106D for Rig Rat, TN106E for Toxi Ray Pro PID, TN106F for BW Ultra. Now that we know what a correction factor is, let's see how to apply correction factor in your reading. A practical example with the monitor on hand and walking through the correction menus. Most instruments allow you to apply the correction factor by selecting the gas from the library in the memory, so no math has to be done to this reading. Enter in the configuration menus by pressing and holding the ON and the N button at the same time. Select the measurement menu and press the Y button to enter. Select Change Mesh Gas and select VOC option. Gas Library 10.6 and select the target gas. You will see the correction factor. Press Y to select and save. Exit all the way out from the menus and the monitor will be applying the correction factor already. If the requested compound is not on the monitor library, find the next procedure on how to use the TN106 to find a CF. 